What is up, YouTube? This is Rachel here with Ray Race Tech, and we got eight inches of snow last night. I'm here at the office, and I'm officially, officially scared because it's pretty bad out. Anyways, back to the business. I want to do something different for you guys today and kind of cover something that I haven't covered before. Since I'm all about prepaid and MVNOs and stuff like that, I want to show you guys a company that deals solely and strictly with prepaid companies. And this phone and company is Blue Products. For those of you guys who haven't heard of Blue, they are founded in 2009 and they basically make cheap, affordable, and attractive cell phones that you know fit a whole bunch of consumer needs. And the company is based in Miami, Florida, so an American-based company. And the phones are actually high-quality phones. They're kind of similar to Samsung Galaxy series phones. But the cool thing about these phones is the fact that they don't really have, you know, that bootload stuff crap on it. It's just stock Android experience. I've got the, uh, the Life View that I'm going to be reviewing for you guys today. So, before I got into everything, I kind of wanted to give you guys a little background on Blue and what it is. And so, I have a whole bunch of phones I get here in the office often. So, I want to kind of give you guys kind of a look into that. So, before I get into the nitty-gritty of everything, I kind of wanted to go through what comes in the packaging. And this is a cheap phone. It's going for about 275 bucks. No contract. You don't have to sign anything. You don't have to agree to anything. It's solely prepaid. So, that's actually not a bad deal for a phone, you know like this. This is a good quality phone. Really runs like a Samsung Galaxy series device. And here we got the cradling. I wouldn't really call this a case, but it's kind of what the phone sits in um, when it's being shipped to you. Comes with the owner's manual. And this is a brand new phone for $275, not factory refurbished. Comes with a set of earbuds, which I wouldn't imagine are too great, but they're probably pretty decent. Um, got the USB cord and the, the charging port. Um, and this goes together, the adapter, so you can plug it into the wall. So you also get with this a, uh, I don't know if I can grab this and pull it out. There we go. You get a little gummy uh, kind of case that comes with the device. Surprisingly enough, um, there are no official OtterBox cases or anything like that that come from these phones since the company is so new. So they kind of give you your own case. Now, I wouldn't say this is a really powerful case since it is, you know, kind of like that soft, gummy material. But it is something, you know, that if it's free, it's not that bad. It also comes with a screen protector you guys can see here at the bottom of the, uh, the packaging. On the back of the device, it does talk about some of the specifications. Um, I definitely want to go over a few of these with you guys before turning on the actual device I have here in the back. Um, the screen is 5.7 inches, and that is 1280 by 720 high definition high definition screen. Um, so that's actually kind of impressive for a phone that's only 275. It's got 3D gaming. Uh, it's 4G HSPA+, plus, but most MVNOs offer only 4G HSPA+, plus anyway, so that's nothing new. Um, it's got a quad-core processor, 1.2 gigahertz, so that's, that's not bad. Uh, Gorilla Glass, it records high definition at, at uh, 1080p, 30 frames per second. This, this kind of shocked me, this spec right here. 12 megapixel camera in the back. 5 megapixel camera in the front. So actually a pretty decent camera for a device that's again only priced at 275. It's got about 16 gigabytes of internal uh, memory and 1 gigabyte of RAM and it is running 4.2 Jelly Bean. And it is extremely slim, which it really is pretty slim of a device um, for something that's this big. So Without any further ado, let's turn the, on this bad boy and get right into it. Go ahead and hit this power button here on the right hand side to power up. This phone's got a pretty decent boot up time here, nothing fancy, but it's not as slow as, you know, you would maybe expect it to be. There's the logo there as it powers on. And I don't know if my camera can do this justice, but this is really a beautiful, 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 beautiful high definition display. It's just really crisp and really, really, really beautiful. Also, the device is uh, 
pretty snappy as well, too. You can really see that processor going to work there. Um, as soon as you boot it up, sometimes phones are a little bit laggy, but you guys can see here, no lag to be noted. Um, go ahead and turn off Wi-Fi here on the device. I'm sure you got something kind of interesting as well. Wi-Fi is off. Waiting for it to kind of convert over to cellular data. Typically, when there's a SIM card in the device, it's going to display two. There we go. At the top by the clock, it's going to display two signal bars. And I don't have a SIM card in there currently, so you don't see anything. But when there is a SIM card in there, it's going to have two slots. And that's because this phone actually has dual SIM card slots. Um, the back doesn't come off. I'll take off this plastic piece, though. But the back doesn't come off, um, so built-in battery but stick your fingernail under here and kind of pull this off and so you guys can see here let's get my camera to focus and we got sim card slot one and sim card slot two um, these are both high speed slots um, there's a dual LED flash by the camera but anyways uh, dual sim card slots uh, the reason for this is in case you guys want to travel internationally the phone can easily switch by the touch of a button from SIM card slot one to SIM card slot two. And that's designed mainly for really international use and travel. Or maybe if you are, you know, you just love prepaid and you have two prepaid accounts, you can kind of switch back and forth. So that is an option as well. I went ahead and pulled up the gallery on the phone to kind of go through some of the pictures on here to show you guys just how crisp and clean these photos are on the display. Just really, really rich, high definition. You know, the colors really pop, and they're just really, really gorgeous pictures um, that give this uh, screen justice, you know. Some of the stock wallpapers that come with the phone. Now we're going to check out messaging, and I really can't send out a text message, but I want to kind of show you guys the uh, keyboard here on the device, and it's stock Android that it's running here, but I'm just going to type out a quick sample sentence here um, to kind of test out the speed and everything on the device. Um, it's not bad. Um, I'm a native Apple iPhone user, so I kind of prefer that keyboard over any other. Um, it's, it's not bad. It's pretty responsive. I didn't have any lag time or anything. I had a couple mistakes, but I'm just going to go ahead and use my better judgment and say that that was me and not the phone. Um, but it's not bad. It comes with a couple of, uh, Android version emojis. Um... So these are kind of cool, you know, just their own versions. I don't know who's going to be able to see this. Um, if you have a different type of phone, if you're sending this to, example, an iPhone, I don't know if it's going to come through like this or if it's going to come through as an actual emoji. But regardless, it is kind of cool looking uh, to look at here. So I couldn't take it anymore, so I went to uh, the back of the store here that I'm working at, and I grabbed a, uh, a Red Pocket mobile SIM card uh, since we're an authorized dealer. And this is a, just a simple uh, pay-go plan. We, I think we put 10 bucks on the card just so I can kind of test out call quality for you guys as well. So we're into the device. I'm just going to call some random number. And you see you have two calling options down here at the bottom. I, could, I put it in SIM card slot 1, so I'm going to call from that slot speaker here. You can see it also says the carrier name up here as you're calling out to kind of let you know that you're using this SIM card. So I guess somebody's calling this number 555-123-4567. Uh, let me try something else. Since I'm using a Red Pocket SIM card, I decided to call Red Pocket themselves. So let's see here. I'm going to call their uh, customer service. Hit slot one, because I have a SIM card in slot one. Calling out. 
And on speaker, let you guys hear it. Speakers coming from here in the back. Refill, account status, and many other account functions. Please visit us 24-7 at www.goredpocket.com. For customer service in English, please press 1. Okay, if you would like to activate new service with Red Pocket Mobile, please press 1. If you would like to activate... And I really like the fact where down here you can uh, toggle between different functions um, if you need the keypad speaker on or off, mute your voice on or off, and I guess put them on hold, which is actually pretty cool. You can do that as well. You can also add another caller with this func this function right here. It'd be funny if I added H2O wireless and red pocket and let them talk to each other, uh, compare prices and such. Sound quality on the device was also great quality as well. Um, I went ahead and called a couple friends to do some test calls on the device, took the phone off the speaker, put it up to my ear, and I was very satisfied and pleased with what I, what, what I found to hear. Um, everything was crisp and clear and had really great quality. It wasn't muffled or distorted or anything along those lines, which is really something that we come to expect. It doesn't matter if the phone is, you know, a prepaid phone or a postpaid phone plan, you know, we expect phone calls to be crisp and clear. You know, it's 2014, and this phone did deliver in that department. Walking around the office, I went ahead and took a couple quick pictures. This is a low-lighting picture. Um, I had to go to the scary basement for this photo to get kind of a low-lighting image. So you guys are welcome for me going to the scary place for you all. Uh, I went outside and took this. Um, I don't know if my camera really does it justice here, um, the one I'm filming with. But uh, this is outdoors, and it's pretty clear. Um... And then here's kind of like a medium average lighting here in the store. Um, I just took a picture of a plant that we have growing over there. Um, and overall, all the pictures were pretty decent. You know, they weren't the best quality, um, even though it was 12 megapixel. Uh, they were kind of, they are a little uh, hazy a little bit. Um, but then again, with the price point of 275 it is a 12 megapixel camera. And it is, you know, for its price... It is pretty decent, so, I mean, it's not something that I would definitely overlook initially. Um, I wouldn't expect anything massive or, or fancy or anything like that, but um, for the price, you are getting a good deal. I went ahead and grabbed the Samsung Galaxy Note 2, which you see here on the left, 5.5-inch display on the right, the Blue Light View, 5.7-inch display. And you can really see that when standing side by side, they really don't look that different in terms of width, as you see here from these angles. They really don't look like one phone's a lot wider than the other. And also in terms of height, with this image you guys see here, one phone is a little bit taller, but not by a lot. So really, when holding these devices, they're very, very similar. So thank you guys so much all in all. This is my uh, short review of the Blue Life View. I got my white edition here. This phone also comes in black. And I also took the time to put on this uh, gummy soft light case so you guys can kind of see what it looks like here on the device. Um, but other than that, yeah, this is the review. If you guys like what you see and you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks again for watching. You guys have a great day.